What's up, Summoners, and welcome back to our channel. My name is Nathan Ng, and I'll be the host for this video. In it, I'll cover the latest training builds for every role. So make sure you stay tuned, especially if you're interested in learning what the top solo queue players are doing. Also, subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future content like this. Starting the video, let's talk about a build for Lilia Top. She's made some appearance outside of the jungle, but some nerfs in the past did push her away from the top lane. However, with the introduction of Jack's show, she's now made her way back into the solo lane, ending games as an unkillable high damage battle mage. For her runes, take Conqueror, Presence of Mind, Legend Tenacity, Last Stand, Second Wind, Unflinching, Ability Haste, Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune of Choice. For her items, build Ionian Boots of Lucidity, Demonic Embrace, Jack's show, Zhonya's Hourglass, Rabadon's Death Cap, and Spirit Visage. This build supplies plenty of damage for Lilia to take out on squishies and contribute heavily to her team's damage output. Finishing a Spirit Visage in the lake it provides a massive boost in her tankiness as well as healing, making her an incredible asset to her team. Next we have Zac making his way to the top lane as well. While less common, Zac top has seen play from time to time and like Lilia, has found a place due to the new mythic item. However, it's important to know that players usually run Ignite for the extra kill pressure and also because he can use his E or ultimate to help him get out of ganks. For his runes, take Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Tenacity, Last Stand, Second Wind, Revitalize, Attack Speed, Armor, and Health. His items are Jack Show the Protean, Ionian Boost of Lucidity, Demonic Embrace, Sunfire Aegis, Spirit Visage, and Zhonya's Hourglass. This is a very tanky setup that gives Zack just enough damage to prove a meaningful threat during teamfights. We'll throw the builds up on the screen again for you guys to review, so take a screenshot or write them down for later. That covers the top lane builds, and next, let's talk about the jungle. Our first jungle build will be for Shivana. While last season we saw AP Shivana as the most popular variant, things might be changing very soon. She's seeing much more play with an attack speed bruiser build that you should definitely want to watch out for. This makes her one of the best frontliners for your team, but also allows her to consistently deal high DPS throughout the course of the fight. For runes, take Pressy Attack, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Last Stand, Conditioning, Unflinching, Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and Health. Her item starter is Moss Stomper or a Gust Walker. Then build Blade of the Ruined King, Defensive Boots, Iceborne Gauntlet, Death Stance, Wit's End, and Steric Gauge. Next up is a build that continues to dominate the jungle, Bruiser Kane. This build makes him practically unkillable, and despite the durability, he still deals massive amounts of damage that you just can't ignore. For runes, take Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Last Stand, Conditioning, Unflinching, Double Adaptive Force, and Armor. In regards to his items, start with Moss Stomper, then build Ravenous Hydra, Defensive Boots, Jack Show, Death Stance, Black Cleaver, and Spirit Visage. This build includes an insane amount of healing and defensive stats. However, Kane is able to deal so much AoE damage that he basically takes advantage of these items twice as well as most other champions. Before moving forward, let me drop our question of the day. Are there any unusual picks or builds that stand out for you in this preseason? In my opinion, it's the fact that Zac top lane is so strong right now. He's arguably one of the best top laners right now, and it's because of a couple of system changes from the preseason. Let me know your answers in the comments below, and let's continue the video. Anyway, that's gonna be it for the jungle, so we'll put the builds back on display for all of you. Take a look, and let's run through the mid lane builds next. We're keeping the mid lane section short in this video as we have some dual builds that we want to share with you at the end, so make sure you stick around. That said, the one build that we'll talk about in the mid lane is for Katarina. It's not all that different from the previous ones, but again, she's also abusing Jack's show's strength to just provide the extra durability that she needs to jump into the middle of fights, go crazy, and find those resets that she needs to hard carry games. You'll want to take Ignite with this build and try to pick up super early kills and start snowballing early on. For runes, say Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Tenacity, Last Stand, Eyeball Collection, Treasure Hunter, Double Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune of Choice. For items, build Nasher's Tooth, Sorcerer's Shoes, Jack Show, Rabadon Seth Cap, Zhonya's Hourglass, and Void Staff. That covers our mid lane build for now, so take a look on the screen for a graphic of it. We'll move on to the bottom lane builds next. Starting off in the bot lane, we'll talk about a build for Zeri. Note that players actually run Flash and Ghost for the extra mobility, make her impossible to catch and also run away from. For runes, take Lethal Tempo, Presence of Mind, Legend of Alacrity, Cut Down, Conditioning, Revitalize, Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune. Her items are Ravenous Hydra, Berserker's Greaves, Immortal Shield Bow, Phantom Dancer, Bloodthirster, and either Infinity Yet or Lord Dominic's regards depending on how tanky the enemy team comp is. This build provides an immense amount of healing and also helps Zeri wave clear in the early game. An early team match should help her become a huge nuisance as she's able to negate any possibility of minion weight pressure or have an easier time forcing her opponents to play under turret. Now moving on to the supports, we have a build for Rel. It takes advantage of Radiant Virtue and cooldown reduction to make her an extremely powerful unit after casting her ultimate. Her team fighting impact is absolutely insane when it's off cooldown and you shouldn't sleep on the setup. For Rune, take Glacial Augment, Hextech Flash Traption, Minion Dematerializer, Cosmic Insight, Shield Bash, Bone Plating, Ability Haze, and your choice of a second rune, and health. Her items are Relic Shield, Radiant Virtue, Ionian Boots of Lucidity, Thorn Mail, Knight's Vow, and Abyssal Mask. 
It's a pretty high damage build, combining Radiant Virtue and Abyssal Mask to significantly aid her ally's damage output. That covers the bottom lane build, so we'll put them up on the screen for you one last time. Take whatever notes you need and let's wrap up the video with a couple of combo builds. Our first combo build is for Galio mid and Camille top. It's a classic duo that absolutely demolishes enemy backlines. Camille is already a huge threat to carries, but after jumping in, she's able to ult onto her main target and Galio can follow up with his own ultimate, keeping Camille safe and also ensuring that whoever did get ulted is guaranteed to die. It's impossible to help whoever is the main target without putting herself in potential danger due to the massive radius of Galio's ultimate. Not to mention, even without Galio's ultimate, this frontline duo packs a ton of crowd control. Galio's taunt, knockup, and Camille's stun are more than enough to lock down a squishy target and take them out. Camille's long range on her E makes her great for picking off solo targets, and Galio can easily follow up to land some massive damage afterwards. For Galio's runes, take Aftershock, Shield Bash, Second Wind, Revitalize, Nimbus Cloak, Transcendence, Double Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune. His items are Demonic Embrace, Sorcerer Shoes, Jack Show, Zhonya's Hourglass, and Rabidon's Death Cap, as well as Abyssal Mask. On Camille, make sure you run Ignite for the extra kill pressure. Her runes are going to be Grasp of the Undying, Shield Bash, Second Wind, Revitalize, Magical Footwear, Physical Delivery, Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune of Choice. Then for her items, build Divine Sunderer, Defensive Boots, Ravenous Hydra, Death Stance, Spare of Shojin, and Steric Gage. The second duo is Tarek Jungle and Karma Support. This duo provides an impressive amount of utility for their team with CC Chains, Shielding, and Healing. Tarek's ultimate also provides a brief amount of invulnerability, and in spite of the endless support that they can provide, they also deal solid amounts of damage. When playing Tarek, make sure you run Ghost for the extra mobility. It'll help you land stunts, maneuver around fights, get more auto attacks, and reduce the cooldown of your heal. His runes are Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Last Stand, Magical Footwear, Cosmic Insight, Attack Speed, Adeptive Force, and Health. For items, start with Moss Somber and Rush of Bomby Cinder. Your final builds should be Jack Show, Defensive Boots, Sunfire Aegis, Abyssal Mask, Death Stance, and Spare Visage. For Karma, take First Strike, Perfect Timing, Biscuit Delivery, Cosmic Insight, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Double Adaptive Force, and a Defensive Rune. For our items, start with the Spell Thief's Edge and build Chemtech Putrefire, Ionian Boots of Lucidity, Radiant Virtue, Staff of Flowing Water, and Redemption. Due to Karma's Mantra Charge being on a shorter cooldown than most ultimates, she's really able to take advantage of Radiant Virtue basically every time it's off cooldown. There is an immense amount of value behind this, as both her and her allies will benefit heavily from the active effect. We finished up the combo builds, so again we'll throw them up on the screen for you all to review. Give those a try in some normal games, and if you like them, take them into rank to quickly climb the ladder with the duo. Thank you guys all for watching our Korean builds video for patch 12.23b. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and like always, feel free to let us know what you thought about it in the comments below, and share any feedback. Good luck in your games everybody, stay safe, stay healthy, and happy holidays. Peace.